Alright, so hi guys, in this video right now, I am going to show you, I mean, not, I mean, I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to revisit my old tutorial 2013, which is how to install CentovaCast. Now, as far as, as you remember, I've installed that using my laptop with, with Ubuntu. Now, some people request this video to be made that, John, how to install CentovaCast on the VPS server or a dedicated server? Now, I'm going to fulfill that promise and... This is the video. Now, if you want to view that old tutorial, I'm going to link the card on the upper right, but on the upper right side on your video screen right now. So, yeah, just view that and uh, that old tutorial. Then uh, you will know that I've installed Centovacast in the past using Ubuntu with my laptop and. Uh, so yeah, it's been 2018, and um, so that is uh, that is five years, um, five years since uh, that video was made, and it's still quite the same process. So, but right now I'm going to show it using um, CentOS and then a VPS server. I've Launch a fresh VPS server from Volter, but you can use other VP VPS cloud servers or dedicated servers, which you may prefer. Which is, I'm going to link down below some VPS servers. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but you get what you paid for. And I recommend paid ones, since you get. That's what I said. You get what you pay for, and you pretty much safe in the long run. So, I already have installed CentovaCast on my server here, on my main server, uh, which is, I purchased a license from, uh, from CentovaCast, but uh, I'm going to link some resellers of the CentovaCast license, which you may get the license for uh, cheaper than CentovaCast uh, offers. And it's currently running my radio station right now, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That I have thir currently 13 listeners. I have also um, created another uh, shoutcast stream, but it's, it is not connected to the cast. I've done it using command line, which I'm going to uh, show you on some other time in the next video. And, um, and my other one here has 15 uh, listeners. So yeah, it's quite a... Quite not significant, but it's uh, it's it's so much now, which is pretty good and pretty great. So yeah, enough with the blabbering about things. Let's start with the tutorial. So first of all, in assuming that you've already logged into your VPS server, you can use Putty on Windows, but on Linux and Mac, you can type SS, uh, ssh root at your IP address, hit enter. Type in yes, and then put if if there's some prompt, then after that put in your password, so you can act so you can access to your uh, server. Now, what I'm going to show you here, I uh, this OS is sent o, uh, sent OS. You can choose whatever version you like, uh, version six or version seven. You can use also Debian, but for simplicity simplicity's sake. I'm going to use send OS, but any Linux distros is the same. Same process, same anything. So once again, uh, here is it. So first things first, type if you're on send OS, type in yum install mysql dash server. Oh, well, just have a typo here. There you go. <coughs> Wait until it download it downloads my school server. Then if you see this prompt, if this is okay, type in Dwight for yes, then it will install onto the server. Now that's done. Now after that you need to type in service then mysql d then start so you, so which means that uh, 
your MySQL server has been started successfully. Now, the next step is you need to change your MySQL uh, password. To do that, type in MySQL admin dash u root password. Then type the password that you want. I'm going to type in uh, Centova. That one. So enter that. You will not see any prompts, but the password has been changed. Now, um, next step is you need to log in to create a database. So to log in, type in MySQL dash u root dash p. Then you need to enter the password that you created earlier on the on the MySQL admin. Then there you go. Here is it. Now, after that, you can see the MySQL shell. Type in in all caps create database. Then whichever database name you prefer. I'm going to type in demo cc. Then type this um, semicolon here, and that is important to acknowledge the creation of database. Then hit enter. Then you will see this query. Okay, one affected. Blah blah. Now. That's about it. That's all you're gonna do. Then for the MySQL one, MySQL thing. Then type in exit. There you go. Now go to centova.com and oh, click on the Centova class. Click on order. Now if you already have a Centova license or a Centova free trial license, skip this. Skip this part. But if you don't have one, uh, follow this. So. You can choose a stream capacity, either one station or ten stations, or maybe more than that. You can choose payment terms like monthly, annually, or one-time payment. But for but for the tutorial purposes, I'm going to choose on free trial, which has a maximum of two stations. Click on order. <coughs> now, after that, click on this order again. Pretty sure it's selected. It's already pre-selected. And um, there you go. Uh, we're going to provide uh, some details. If you're a existing user of uh, of Centovacas, if you have the account, you can type your your login details here. But I'm going to click on. I I am a new customer since I don't have any accounts. As you can see here, if you have a new user account, you're going to see some pending verification. So I'm going to verify the email address real quick. There you go, account verification. Then click that. Then after you click that, it will proceed to provision your account. So there you go. It will going to be provisioned. Then be sure that you check your email. And also if you want to, you can log in. And then you can log in, and then uh, you can see the license key that you uh, brought that that you that set of a cast provision. There you go. <laughs> Very sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, here's it again. I've logged into the uh, client login here, and as you can see the trial license key is provisioning. So you can either monitor this one or you can uh, you send. Uh, you can uh, wait for the email from your uh, from Centovacas into your email provider. So yeah, I'm going to get back to you as soon as I got the email. All right, so <laughs> approximately 33 minutes later, the tri my trial license key has been processed. Now, what you're gonna do right now? You can open this email. Or you can go to your client area, then click on manage product license, then um, click on this manage package, 
then you're going to see also your key so it's, it's all of them are the same but you can but you can view your license key with either on the decline area or through mail but here is it right now um trialless order process now that's great so the next one is you need to go and download the setup now i'm going to link the installation manual here for the full installation i'll always recommend a full installation of the program so um uh which is um it has all of the detailed information all right so here is it right now so first one on step one you need to copy this one to download the install shell script the centova cast uh install script now you need to replace the license key with your license key that that CentOverCast emailed you or published onto the client area. So uh, paste that onto the uh, link here. Then hit on enter. Then after that, it will download the install shell script. There you go. Now, <coughs> next one you need to make the sh uh, the shell script uh, executable. You can do that by typing this command, the chmod command, a plus x install dot sh. That is read and write, and then an execute also. And then uh, after that, run dot slash install dot sh. But but don't click enter yet. Before that, you need to choose a s which streaming server or source software you want you want to Centovacast to install it for you. Now, you need to choose uh, just some f few of them, but you can also put them all if you want to, you know, if you want to uh, uh, to get all of them get installed so uh, so if you want to do that if you want to uh, get it installed all of them type type all of them which is I'm going to do but if you are if you're just going to choose which um, whichever streaming software or source software that you want uh, I'm going to provide a description box below on <laughs> I'm sorry I'm going to provide a uh, a text in the description box uh, which so, um, which streaming servers and source softwares has uh, has compatible or can be matched with either of those streaming server or source softwares so I'm going to dictate that so uh, right now, uh, Shoutcast 2, Shoutcast V2 is compatible with Liquid Soap and SE Trans 2. Shoutcast 1 is compatible with ISIS CC and yeah, ISIS CC only. Then IceCast is compatible with Liquid Soap and ISIS CC also. So that is the combination to avoid, uh, to avoid incompatibility in the long run so yeah but if you want to install them all then uh, you can go ahead and install them all so I'm going to install them all so I'm going to put in all of them shoutcast 2 shoutcast 1 icecast icecc sorry about that <laughs> typo icecc uh, let's start again. Liquid Soap and SC Trans 2. There you go. After you ch you've chosen your softwares or after you've put all of them. But if you're a stream host, I recommend that you put all of them. So, so you have a w wider choice for clients. So there you go, and hit on enter. Then the Setovacas installation will begin. So as you can see, the installation procedure is now big.
has has now begun and we're going to wait until this installs and I'm going to get back to you so to install the Centavic Cast features since this is also a one-click installation you don't need to install some other web interfaces blah 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 Centavic Cast does let it uh, just let it do the job for you so there you go I'm going to get back to you as soon as the Tava cast and the software has been installed all right so as you can see here is this Tava cast installation has been completed but unfortunately though liquid soap did not install successfully but you can always add that anytime you want so the next step here if you're using firewall I know that you should be that that you should have done this earlier but you need to turn off the firewall so type in service IP tables then stop there you go and the firewall is now stop then uh, yeah and also to make it permanent type in check config IP tables and off there you go the firewall is off and any ports are now open now after that uh, so the, the the install script will provide you a web interface so be sure to copy that here copy that then paste it onto your web browser this is where you're going to configure Sentovacast if you see that error just proceed it because that is for the SSL keys so as you can see just click on continue now here we go fill in the, the necessary forms I'm going to fill them all out then for the MySQL database you uh, put in the database thing that you've created earlier on the MySQL setup so in my case that is demo cc make sure the mysql username is username is root and the password is the root password which is also you changed earlier on, on the video so that will be so the demo there you go mysql hostname just leave it there go next then as you can see here control panel installation installation is successful to click here to log into the double pass and there you go you need to put in your username as admin then on password the password that you created uh, which you fill up the form earlier so it's just a minute ago that you filled it there you go uh, here is it right now this is the Centava cast control panel you can add new accounts blah 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 of course there are so many YouTube tutorials on how to you know uh, create a new account of Tavacast and other stuff. So as you can see right now, the control panel has been successfully installed, and that's about it, guys. Uh, hope you like the video. Please like the video. If you like it, dislike it. If you dislike it, but I don't see why you need to dislike it. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe for more, and be sure that you click on the bell button so you won't miss any future videos. And as always. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.